What's up, y'all? Welcome back. So today, we're talking about this little guy. This is the, let me see if I can read it, because the numbers are like stupid little and it's dark in here. It is TKF72. It's the miniest little bitty quarter inch snap-on ratchet ever. Which I thought wasn't going to be very handy, but apparently it is. For this one little deal where you can maybe you see this hose up here is my rigged up breather line for the back of the civics b20 um it doesn't have pcv in the back so i uh, oh you can see a little better over here you can kind of see let me get a snap on light on this side the that hose coming out of the back because in the rush to put this car together i didn't um didn't get the an fittings to go to the catch can so i've just got hoses clamped on to the back of the fittings and this little guy happens to be just the right size to get to that clamp i got in there all the other ratchets i've been using were way too big or they were annoying the crap out of me or something like that but this one is perfect and the reason I'm trying to adjust it is because as you can see, it, maybe you can see, it sure has been leaking from that hose. I've got to get the AN fittings. And it's just I haven't found them yet. But, huh. so apparently, I say that a lot, I think. This B20 from Japan got its oil changed at Walmart. Do they have Walmart in Japan? Huh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Because, you know, you see the little blue paint there. So I'm guessing they do have a uh, Walmart in Japan. Or maybe in Japan they just felt like putting it on there. And I know this is a Japanese engine because the code on the block is B20B? Yeah, B20B. It doesn't say, just, let me look. I think it's B20B. I don't think it has the any of the numbers after it. I'm never going to see it from here. Oh well. It's it doesn't have any numbers. It's just B20B. So I'm going to have to fix that. Worry about Oh, and funny enough, it is rounded off the drain plug. So I guess they do have whatever the uh Japanese version of Walmart is is who changed the oil on this engine the last time. And also, while I was under the car, this awful weld job right here. I'm gonna have to do something about my exhaust because it is definitely pretty crappy. I think it's, yeah, I can see right through right there. <laughs> they didn't even weld it around the top. So I'm gonna have to get some kind of different, it's still got the cat on it and the resonator, sweet. I'm going to have to get uh, some kind of exhaust. And this header was a uh, like a quick, cheap fix. I had to actually do some welding on it because it was not doing so hot. But this header is junk. I need a better header for it. So I'm on the lookout for a much better header. But now you can actually get a look at some of the suspension on this car which I'm sure none of y'all really care about, but let's see if we can get an angle on it so you can see some stuff. Yeah, pretty dirty, live in the country. You got the adjustable A-arms, pretty much same stuff over here. Yeah, you can kind of see it, adjustable coilovers. And in the back, You got the, I guess they're upper, I don't know what all that's called on these cars. I just call them control arms, but, but one side, I don't remember which side it was. I think it's this other side. Looks pretty worn out. I'm probably going to have to replace it. Let's see if we can get up in there. Eh, feels okay. I'm, for some reason I was thinking, oh yeah, it is. It's, let's see if I can get the camera up there. 
That side over there is suspect. It looks like it's breaking apart. That side looks okay. I know I need some wheel bearings. That bushing. Trailing arm bushing, I think. That one's pretty nasty, too. But, anyway. Normal maintenance on a 20-year-old car. All this stuff looks okay. Ooh. I did see this when I bought it. At some point, I'm going to have to get a new power steering rack for it because it's got a little bit of a leak. But whatever. At least it's not rusted. You northern guys can, uh, yeah, eat your heart out. No rust. 20 years with no rust. Anyway, I just thought I'd make a quick video, tell you how this is actually a useful little ratchet and how messed up my Civic is and how much work I've got to do on it. But anyway, like the video, subscribe. I got to go back to Home Depot because apparently I was supposed to get a free battery with this and I didn't, I didn't even see the sale or anything, but I'm going to go back up there and try to make them give me a free battery. But until next time, I'll see you guys later.